Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's up Maxim again and I wanna do a little bit of a guide for the Frontier Clash for the battle stage or the battle arena or whatever they call it. Basically the part when it says battle starts and it takes like an hour, something like that. I think it kind of depends on how active your server is and stuff like that. Uh, it was around an hour. Uh, first uh, things first though, I would like to remind you uh, that while you are inside, you cannot do your uh, missions for your radar and some of the other stuff uh, from outside the world, uh, which means that you should do those as well. And uh, after I finish this one, I'm gonna do the teleport to the battlefield and talk about the battle stage. Uh, after I remind you to do one more thing, and that is to definitely not forget to get. Uh, your one attack each for each of those buildings so that you get these, uh, the extra rewards here from the first attack which are 500 uh, cards each uh, because the rewards here are what it's all about right and I'm gonna try to tell you how to get the most of them and get most points in the battle stages uh, since you will be getting uh, 6000 out of those first attacks and a bunch more from the specific uh, individual score rewards. So here, for instance, from the first battle stage, you could have gotten extra 2,600. And I did a little infographic for this, and the total needed is actually 20,800 if you wanted to get everything. Sadly, I cannot edit the picture for some reason, so <laughs> uh, once I solve that, I will add that. Uh, it's 20,800, okay? 20,800. I would like to write it, but I cannot. Anyways, so yeah. And so what you want to do during the battle stage, uh, after you do the things that I just said, uh, before it even starts, you go and, oh my god, I cannot even get there. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So what's gonna happen after the battle stage starts is that uh, these arena portals are going to become attackable. They have got 20,000 defense and the defense goes down by one per second per each of your server's marches in that portal. Uh, the defenses are fairly weak, I'm just gonna check one thing and that is uh, if the later stages have got stronger defenses and it appears they do not. So yeah, they are level 40. Uh, the things later on in these things are actually level 22, it would appear, if I remember right from doing it. So once again, my cat is being annoying. Uh, he wants to get through a door. So that essentially means that you need 20,000 uh, march seconds, let's say. Uh, so if you have 20 marches there from 5 players, you need 1,000 seconds or around 15 minutes. If I just did that math correctly, yeah, anyway. Uh, so yeah, it takes a bit uh, depending on how active your server is uh, So what I would suggest is that either you depending how active your server is you can of course split between those portals or you can just go for one uh, with all your marches in the beginning and uh, Then uh, you can go for the other ones while like send uh, send to the other ones while you start claiming uh, this part or what, whichever part you're going to be going for. Uh, because uh, each of these parts, as you can see, they are separate. And after you take the portal, you can take this first arena tile. Uh, when they are dark gray like this, they are of the from the dark forces. You can go and check my stream, which was a horrible mess though. So anyway, so you have to claim this one. It's going to turn light. Then you can take this one and this one and this one. And basically each time you take one, you can attack the ones around it. So if you take this one, you can uh, you can take those around it, those small ones. So you can take like this, and basically taking the big ones lets you skip like three uh, ahead. You can go diagonally, so from the big one, you should be able to go for the nerf trip directly. And you can pretty much uh, take a whole quarter section with a single active player fairly quickly. Uh, however... All those bases, they have got 200 bases, that's the bases that you can see uh, here, uh, it's the 200 here, it means that they have got 200 bases uh, and they are sending attacks. And what that means is that, for instance, 
if you claimed these, 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 if you claimed like all the way here, uh, all the way to the drone deck, which actually I'm gonna talk about a bit more uh, in a moment, uh, they can reclaim them, like they can disconnect you, they can for instance take this, if there is no one defending it, uh, they can disconnect it and then you cannot attack there anymore. However, if you already have a march going from the time like when you still had it to the next one, you can still keep attacking again without like having to reconnect it directly, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you have a barge here, for instance, and they disconnect you from the previous zone, uh, you can still attack the drone deck. Anyways, so, and these buildings, uh, and this, this garrisoning and taking the tiles and stuff, is how you gain the individual score, uh, which is needed here. Uh, as you saw, I got a little bit above 8000, so a little bit of the maximum required for each uh, level. Uh, Keep in mind that the last one is gonna give you most rewards, and it might be harder, who knows. Anyway, and uh, so you get the individual score by doing these things, by taking these things, le leaving your units there, and it would appear, uh, there is an official thread on Discord where they say uh, how you get the individual, uh, how we get the individual score uh, from them, themselves, and it says Garrison in the arena portal. So I believe you're going to get one point per every defense you reuse, which means one point per second per march. So if you're there for, uh, let's say, uh, 100 seconds, with four marches you are going to get 400 points. So if you're there for five minutes, that's 300 seconds. With four marches you are going to get uh, 1200 points. We do not know specifically how much you get for each of these things, but they would suggest that the drone decks are the best because they're the closest and stuff, and uh, how the drone decks work, uh, I'm gonna talk now about each of these buildings, how the drone decks work is that every five minutes it counts uh, all the units inside, they've got like 20 enemy troops, and uh, they spawn some drones and they do some damage and stuff to the enemy, enemy guy or to your guy, uh, at least that's how I believe it works, I haven't actually seen the drones, but whatever. It's gonna show here, uh, you can check again in the in the in my stream. I maybe should have made some screenshots anyway. Um, you can see here like the log of the people who are there. You can only have one march uh, per player in each of those drone decks at any given time, and every five minutes is going to calculate uh, if you the amount of players there uh, as an amount of wins. So you kind of want to have it there uh, at the end of every five minute period. Uh, you can have it here, okay, so yeah, and I believe that you might actually need like, I don't know if it's gonna spawn the drones for every player there, or if you actually need more than 10 players there, because there's 20 enemies, so that you have like more than half, I do not know that, but it is definitely a good way to get those points, so if you do want to get as many points as possible, you want to get all the drone decks, and uh, a guy who was actually in all the four drone decks for the most of the fight, he had like 20,000 points from another server, he showed me. Uh, these hunting turrets, there's the second, let's say, second uh, type of building, they deal, deal direct damage to the enemy. You can see it's got 150T, that's trillion uh, total, uh, which means that basically this thing is gonna, if it's gonna be doing 1.2B, I don't know if it's gonna be doing per second or how often actually, it's not that uh, much, let's say. If there is like five drones, then it's like having five targets, pretty much. Anyway, uh, there is the Inspired Index, which uh, increased the monster's damage. It's not a big deal. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you're you pretty much going to win anyway. At least in the first round, it was actually pretty easy. But anyway, you it, do, it does buff them. And there was the nerf one, and I don't know why they are not showing here now. There is there is a few more. Uh, yeah, here there is a nerf trap, which uh, in de decreases the enemy's monster damage. So those are the four kinds. There is the inspiring deck, which increases your monster's damage. This one reduces the enemy's monster's damage. Drone deck does uh, spawns drones that do d do damage, and hunting turret does direct damage. And by op occupying and defending all of these buildings, once you link to them, uh, you are getting points. And making your, uh, your Colossus uh, beat the enemy faster, let's say. 
I would like to actually hide this, uh, but I don't remember how we hide the UI. I just remember there was some command to hide the UI, but eh, whatever, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I wanted to make a screenshot for... Uh, I, I, can, I can do it, I'll try to do it anyway, this way. Anyway, so that's pretty much everything uh, here, uh, I believe, uh, if I haven't forgotten something. So yeah, uh, you just do these things, you help your monster, your Colossus win, that way you gain the individual points. And uh, as I said, you need uh, like 20,000 Starfall tickets total if you want to get all the rewards. And in the first one you are getting 2600, 2600, 2600, and he, you, here in the last one you are getting 2.4 plus 1.6, that's 4. So pretty much you're getting like a little, like 11,000 from these things, from the individual, individual plus you're getting like 6,000 from the other ones, from the, like the first attack bonuses, uh, at least if each stage is the same which would suggest that you actually cannot right now uh, get all of these things. So you are going to have to choose some, but I think it's going to be quite easy to choose right, which ones not to take, right? Uh, not this. Uh, this is, might actually be quite good. Um, anyway, you, you want to get the top ones, obviously. Uh, I actually, myself, I think I might actually, in the end, uh, if I will not be able to get all of them, I might actually end up not taking the orange universal shards, because, uh, of course, they are valuable, but I have so many of them, and they are very common in everywhere while these things even though maybe i don't really use them as much they uh, are actually not that common and not that easy to get in my opinion in my personal opinion and in many ways um, if you want to know more about these buildings check the stage one uh, video and uh, I will maybe make one more about this trade store later or about the rewards because those are actually, I believe, uh, like the best free-to-play rewards that you can get in this game. Uh, most of the events that we have, we of course have a lot of events, but you always have to pay at least five dollars to get them or you have to pay, you know, you always have to pay some money. And you can get all this no matter how strong you are. Uh, or not all this, but most of this, no matter how strong you are. Uh, and hopefully there is gonna be some way something special in the last round as well, which is gonna uh, there might be you know like the extra points for attacking the bases or something like that, quite possibly. Which would allow us to get everything, but we are gonna have to see about that. I hope that I didn't forget something important. If I did, or if you have any questions, uh, please uh, ask me in the comments, or go to my Discord. I made a separate channel for this event. You can ask me there, and yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, so again, uh, don't forget to do your first attacks, don't forget to be active during that time, that battle stage. It's not actually hard at all, but it's a lot and lot and lot and lot of free rewards. Anyway, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Um, please like, share, subscribe and have a wonderful day.